what's up guys welcome to the first video on this channel uh, today we are going to create a new project using uh, python arcade so i myself i have been recently uh, engaged with this uh, library and i think uh, it's a pretty good library for python beginners and even experts you can use it for uh, different projects uh, the main uh, purpose for this library is to create uh, games. So, uh, first of all, I suggest you uh, take a look at the documentation of the library to get more familiar with the basic concepts. But uh, it is not a necessity for this tutorial. You can uh, just uh, follow along and uh, get uh, the basic concepts here as well. So let's get started the arcade python itself it is based on pygelet which uh, is actually a uh, you know a library for windowing and you know creating games or other applications that you need to uh, you know visualize you need to go outside the command line and uh, it is based on opengl as well which is uh, an api for uh, 3d or 2d uh, rendering and uh, so it is basically uh, ready for you to get started with since it has uh, resolved working with these more uh, complicated libraries all right so guys i am going to start with uh, creating a python virtual environment for us to uh, install the library itself so python m and v and, and we create our python virtual environment we get into it using the source command in linux and activate okay so now we have our uh, virtual environment next we are going to create a main file to just get started with the first project so new file main.py uh, first of all we are going to install uh, arcade so pip install arcade all right, so now that we have our uh, library installed, let's just import it inside our uh, file. So import arcade, as you can see, we have our library. So first of all, we need to uh, define some constant variables here for, uh, you know, like uh, for screen width, screen height, and uh, the window title. So let's just uh, create those screen width go with 1000 again and screen height uh, I'm sorry title And let's call our game for now Z Glow. Okay. All right, guys. So now we just have to define our uh, window class. So let's just do that. Game. Sorry, game. Window. Window. And uh, okay. So the first function we define inside our class is uh, the init function so let's define it self uh, inside this function we will uh, you know we just initialize the variables that we will uh, need to have inside our game uh, window so for now I just want to uh, use the parent init function to you know get our constants in our window so we use super and we use init and let's just um, use the constants we defined 
and the title and we are good to go let's just uh, for the sake of following the documentation tutorial let's just uh, set a background as well set uh, background color and let's um, choose a color using CSS color and uh, let's go with aqua okay the next one we want to define a setup function so setup function is responsible for our uh, you know for setting val uh, values to variables that we just defined inside init function we usually uh, you know set the variables that inside in it to like uh, none or zero so we can uh, you know set them to the proper uh, value inside the setup function and the reason is that we can have multiple uh, levels so we have multiple uh, setup functions inside our game window and we can call them uh, when uh, each level is uh, going to start so for now let's just pass through this function next function is the undraw function in this one we just want to draw anything that we have uh, you know defined inside our setup and init function and uh, we want to just uh, start rendering them and we will be doing that using arcade dot I guess start render and this is uh, for now uh, everything we want to do inside our game window we will be going to much more details in the next episodes so to run this game window we have to define a main function so let's go ahead and define that okay define main function and we want to have our game window instance great now we just want to run the setup for now it is it doesn't do anything since we haven't done anything inside setup function but this will be very handy uh, as we have more complicated projects so after we have run the setup we just need to run the game instance using arcade Let's run. All right. Uh, let's just set the condition to direct the interpreter to the main function. Set the condition name equals to main, and we are good to go. Okay. So let's run uh, what we have created for now. Let's just activate the environment once more. Okay, let's go to the folder and let's run the game. All right, so uh, this is showing uh, a bit weird uh, since I am using uh, OBS and I am using to capture it, using it to capture the windows. So uh, if you uh, run this in your local machine, you will see a windows like this, and uh, you will see the title here, uh, and uh, you know the one that we defined inside, uh, uh, you know, a screen title. So uh and uh so you have that there and you can change it in uh, to whatever you want and uh that's it you can easily make a, a running window uh using uh arcade library uh simple as that with these simple steps so in the next episodes we will g go deeper and create more variables that we will be want to have inside our game